So yeah, I thought I had a heart attack. Gotta fix my necklace because it looks weird on screen. So hey everybody. Um Yeah, I had a bit of a health scare last week. If you have been following me on my other socials, then you uh are probably a little bit more up to date on what happened. But um Yeah. After I put out last week's video, um I uh I thought the next day that I was having a heart attack, which was just fantastic. Yeah, it was pretty fucking scary. So I woke up at like 5.30ish in the morning um, and I thought I was just sleeping weird on my left side and I was like, oh, I'm kind of scrunched up, um, my arm hurts, a um, little bit out of breath, uh, okay, let me just adjust roll over to the other side, I'll be okay, I don't really feel that great, whatever, I went back to sleep. Got up later to help Rachel get the baby ready before daycare, and um, I was really having trouble breathing, my shoulder was hurting, my shoulder blade was hurting, I was like, what the hell did I do, how did I, I slept funny, what's going on, I feel really kind of terrible, but I thought, oh, uh, it's just, you know, something minor, and uh, just kind of went, went about my day. Started getting ready for work. Um, and I told Rachel, like, how terrible I felt. But we both thought, yeah. I was probably fine. It was just, I was just sore and I slept weird. Now, I've got asthma. So, having breathing problems is not abnormal. It doesn't usually just show up in the middle of the night. But I thought, what the hell? I guess that's what's going on. But as the morning progressed, it just kept getting worse. Um, I felt like I was about to pass out. I was getting lightheaded. I was really having trouble breathing. My pulse seemed like it was racing a little bit. Um, I had pain going like from my chest, wrapping around to my shoulder blade, going down my arm, in my elbow, in my wrist, in my hand, up to my jaw. What the hell was going on? I started going down the checklist of symptoms and uh, I started feeling like Fred Sanford. Oh, this is the worst one I ever had, son. Oh, it's the worst one. This is a big one. I'm dying. You hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. And that's never a feeling you want to have. Other people in my family have had heart attacks. My grandfather had several heart attacks. Um, so I'm kind of familiar with what to look for. Incidentally, when I was explaining what happened to some of the people at work. One of the girls there said, just so you know, the symptoms for women are different than they are for men. I told her I was aware of that. And a couple minutes later, she looked at our other coworker and said, oh, right. I forgot about that. So, thanks for the validation. But anyway, so, I mean, the main problem was I was really short of breath. I thought, okay, well, let me get a shower, I have to start getting ready anyway. Maybe the steam will help open things up. Felt like it was getting worse. Um, I got out of the shower and I was kind of like bent over the sink, trying to hold myself up. I called Rachel, told her what was going on, told her I was getting scared. Um, we both agreed I should try to take a breathing treatment because again, I've got asthma, so I'm prepared. So another 20 minutes go by, still not feeling right. And I call Rachel back, and we both decide she's going to take me to urgent care. Now for the fun little horror of dysphoria that got sprinkled throughout this whole thing. So at this point, I've got to get ready to go out and be seen in public. And far from just vanity and wanting to look nice, I wound up spending the time between getting off the phone with Rachel and her actually arriving to pick me up. Um, 
making sure that I looked presentable enough um, just in case there were any transphobic people um, who were going to take issue with giving me medical care. Again, it's New Jersey, I have legal recourses, but in the moment, if I'm having a heart attack, I want you to help me, please. So that bit of fear was fun. So anyway, so she takes me to urgent care. Um, I'm like panicking at this point. She's trying to calm me down. We get there, um, we check in, and um, they do my vitals, listen to my lungs, and the doctor determines it's best to do an EKG to check to see if something is going on with my heart. So then they take the fun little sticky sensors and put them all over my torso and clip little probes on me. It's like a little mechanical octopus just... And then they take a bunch of little probes on wires and clip them to me and... And actually it takes longer to set up the EKG than I actually do the EKG. But there we are. They look at the EKG, that seems normal, and then we're at this interesting impasse. So I am having trouble breathing. It's not my heart. EKG has shown that that's not the issue. Why am I having pain in my arm? And what's causing the issue with my breath? So. Going over my medical status and recognizing that I am trans and I am on HRT, um, then the thought occurs to everyone, maybe your hormones are making a blood clot and maybe you're having a pulmonary embolism, which if you're unaware is a blood clot floating around in your lungs, which can very easily kill you. So. The very nice doctor at Urgent Care says, we can't check for that. You need to go to the ER now. So, Rachel and I hopped back in, in the car, drove the five minutes to the hospital, and went to the ER, which um, started off fun because um, it's been several years since I've been to that hospital. And um, the last time I was there, I look very different and had a different name. I go to check in. The very nice young man at the desk asks if I've ever been there. I say yes I have, but it was under a different name. What was that name? Cool. Let me tell you what my dead name is. He fixed it. I get, gave him my ID, my insurance card. He fixed it. 10-15 minutes later I realized he never updated my gender marker, so a nice little bracelet with an M on it. That's what I needed in the middle of all this. But later we had them fix it. Again, more so because we don't want the insurance to go, um, who is this? It's the little things you gotta worry about. Anyway, um, so then they take me back. Um, they do their own EKG, because money, I guess, I don't know. They, um, have me do a urine test. Uh, they do blood work. At one point, um, Rachel stepped out to go um, contact my brother to let him know what was going on. And when she came back, there was a whole team surrounding me with nurses checking my other vitals and dealing with their EKG and probes and the doctor listening to my lungs and asking me my medical history, getting me to explain to him why I'm on HRT and other fun things. It was kind of a chaotic scene. But so ultimately, they wound up um, having me do an x-ray and a CAT scan. They gave me another breathing treatment. Um, and ultimately, I did not have a pulmonary embolism, which is great. But the final diagnosis was that I had muscle strain and an asthma attack, a very severe asthma attack probably one of the worst asthma attacks I've ever had, which is why I didn't recognize what was happening. What caused this? Nobody knows. Um, was it because I decided that I'd been slacking and was going to exercise last week when I did that video? Maybe. Was it because while I was recording that video, I was holding my phone part of the time like this? Maybe. Was it because it was a Wednesday? 
could have been. Who knows? But so ultimately, they gave me some prednisone, and they gave me some strong uh, painkillers. Just Motrin. Really, really strong Motrin. And uh, sent me on my way. Said to take another day off of work, relax, and uh, then I would feel better. They were right. I do. I still kind of have a knot in my back, but it's not really bothering me. So yeah. It was kind of a giant nothing burger, but it was scary. And the important takeaway was that I didn't ignore what was going on. And for anybody else that's transitioning, um, you have to take that into account when you're feeling sick, when you're dealing with medical issues. Because here's the thing, um, there are different things that trans women have to look for as far as perhaps you're having a heart attack. If you are on hormone replacement therapy, you are at higher risk of having heart attacks, of having blood clots, of having other complications. When you start taking HRT, they give you a list of possible side effects, you need to take them seriously. And you also need to be very honest when you go to seek medical care about what's going on. It is not fun to have to out yourself. It's not fun to have to necessarily dead name yourself, explain why you're taking hormones, explain that you're trans. Um, all of that sucks. But it sucks a lot less than being dead. So, um, I'm still here. I'm going to endeavor to be more careful about how I exercise and just really pay attention to my body and make sure that I'm not overdoing it. So whatever kind of medical issues you might be dealing with, just make sure that you're on the same page with your doctors, your medical providers, your pride and your ego are not worth your life. So. That's Aunt Shannon's advice for the week. Take that for what you will. So have you had any kind of similar medical scares? I'd be interested to know. Let me know down in the comments. Obviously do the usual things like share, subscribe, but um, I am going to go uh, relax. Make sure the girls are still where they're supposed to be. And um, yeah, other than that, I'll see you around. I hope.